Hey, you guys. So I wanted to do a demo really quickly just for the workout that I posted this morning. It's a little weird. There's a lot of words and a lot of different stuff you're doing per exercise. So I figured it'd just be easier to explain it. And then more of you guys will want to do it. So let's do this. So we're basically going to do five sets of each of these different exercises. And let me just explain them. So first one was our banded side steps with overhead or press option with weights. So you will need a band of some kind, a booty band for around the knees, and hopefully weights if you have them. Kettlebells, dumbbells, tied containers, water bottles, whatever you got. But what you're gonna do is get the band above your knees like we do, and then you're gonna get that nice side step action walking in, so you're never gonna fully close your legs. You're gonna stay out the whole time. But you're gonna do something else at the same time here. You're gonna be in the position, booty back, knees out, and you're gonna have your weights overhead. And I'd like you to press as you step. So we're here. Or if you want to, just hold them up and get your steps in. And you're gonna do 20 back and forth, okay? If that's too hard with the weights overhead, just do regular side steps and just do 20 of those, okay? That's gonna be hard enough with this, trust me. Next one is our overhead zombie sit-ups. So, no band on this one, but you are gonna be using the weights if you can. Eight pounds, we'll see if I can do this. So, legs are gonna be straight out like so. You're gonna lean back. Arms with the weights are gonna be over your chest. Now, you're gonna do a full sit-up this way, and the weights are gonna stay overhead as you come up, and you're here. Okay, so the outstretched legs makes it a bit easier for you, but obviously the weights overhead makes it more challenging. So if you can't do that with the weights up top, then just go without and have your hands just be here and work the overhead that way. Trust me, it's gonna burn just as well. 15 of those. Then we have, where are we? Ooh, the Bulgarian split squats with the bicep curl. So you're gonna have your weights again and then hopefully you've got some kind of surface here to put that back foot up against. You're gonna walk the front one out and then you're just gonna bicep curl as you do that wonderful Bulgarian split squat. Make sure you're pressing into that front heel. So you're getting that nice knee protection as well. Going as low as you can. All right, 10 and 10, that's a fun balance one too. So enjoy. Then we've got our floor press with a knee tuck. This is gonna be fun too. So, you're going to be on your back once again. And then you're basically just going to do a knee tuck and a floor press at the same time. So I like to do it where I'm coming down and out and then up and in here. So I'm getting that nice booty pop up to give me the extra core crunch at the end, the lower body, and squeezing up this way. So a lot of funky multiple body parts involve exercises, and it's gonna be fun. 15 of those, all right. Again, modify as you need to if you can't hold the weights or if you can't do the knee tuck, just do what you can, it's all good. I'd rather you try this and do something than nothing at all. So, last one back to is the band. banded single leg bridges with the weight with the band comes. in front of the knees like so you're gonna get that tension here as we do a bridge with one leg up so it's gonna be here weights on the pelvis pelvis on the side of the leg that's being worked the other one's up and you're gonna squeeze just like that but you're trying to not cave in here with the band tension. You're trying to keep the tension the whole time as you squeeze up. 20 and 20. Yeah. If that's too hard, then you can just do 10 and 10 or do no weight or no band. Doesn't matter at all. But the key point is that you tried and you did something and that's good enough. So yeah, hopefully that clarifies things. If you have more questions, just let me know, but I hope it's going to be a good one for you guys. So 
have fun, let me know, and I'll see you guys for class tomorrow night at 6 o'clock p.m. PST.